Hello, welcome to the Mark Janard Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, let's talk about the Rabbit R1 fiasco. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So the team behind Rabbitude, the community formed reverse engineering project for the Rabbit R1, has revealed finding a security issue with the company's code that leaves user sensitive information accessible to everyone. In an update posted on the Rabbitude website, the team said it gained access to the Rabbit code base on May 16th and found quote unquote several critical hard coded API keys. Those keys allow anybody to read every single response the R1 AI device has ever given, including those containing the user's personal information. They could also be used to brick R1 devices, alter R1's responses, and replace the device's voice. The API keys they found authenticate users' access to 11 Labs text-to-speech service, Azure's speech-to-text system, Yelp for review lookups, and Google Maps for location lookups on the R1 AI device. In a tweet, one of the RabbitTools members said that the company has known about the issue for the past month and did nothing to fix it. After they posted, they said Rabbit revoked 11 Labs API key, though the update broke R1 devices for a bit. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Hit that subscribe button and the like button. So, in a statement sent to Engadget, Rabbit said it was the, you know, it was only made aware of an alleged data breach on June 25th. Our security team immediately began investigating it. The company continued. As of right now, we are not aware of any customer data being leaked or any compromise to our systems. If we, you know, if we learn of any other relevant information, we will provide an update once we have more details. It didn't say if it revoked the keys the Rabbit2 team said it found in the company's code. Rabbit R1 is a standalone AI assistant device designed by Teenage Engineering. It, it's, it's meant to help users accomplish certain tasks. Uh, tasks, right? Like placing food delivery orders as well as, you know, to quickly look up information like the weather. So, uh, it was given a pretty low score in many reviews because it was found that its AI functionality often didn't work. Further, furthermore, um, users can simply use their phone instead of having to, you know, spend an extra 200 bucks to buy the device. Please let me know what you th think about this in the comment section below. I appreciate your viewership. Subscribe, like, subscribe, and like this video. See you on the next video.